Hi everyone. Hello. We are back home safely from Amsterdam and oh my word guys, we were blown, blown away. Blown away and we were really really blessed yesterday. Um we got to the shop um Stephen West, Stephen and Penelope and um I've been told to mention when we went in that we were here to see Stephen. And Stephen Ward didn't just straight after us and he said, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, he is tall. And wow. We, yeah. We kind of went, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously when he's sitting down and, you know, he's talking to us and that, you do the uh, height concept doesn't come into it really. Um, but, oh, he was lovely, wasn't he? Oh, We've adopted oh. him. He's our adopted yeah, son. he was lovely. <laughs> he was so lovely. lovely. But... Um, we've got lots to show you. Um, he was very kind enough to help us with our colours for the make mystery knit along. He also uh, helped us pick yarn for the treasure trove sweater, and um, and then another bits and bobs as well. But we spent an hour with him he, yes. he, and we were so grateful because obviously we know he's a very busy man yeah. you know he's still he's, to orders to order he's still um he, him and his staff are doing orders um for you know the mystery knit along and uh, we even got um the accompaniments um, he gave us um, what everybody ordered online. The, he he actually gave them to us because we were doing the uh, mystery knit along. It's a but, little gift, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a little gift. So we were really, really honoured and really chuffed to bits. So, and then we went around um, Amsterdam. Went around Amsterdam, Ma Madame Two Swords, the architecture. Oh my God, I've never seen so many bikes. I'm telling you guys, the bikes are just. Yeah. And yeah. because we drive on the wrong on the other side, not we don't drive on the wrong side of the road. We drive on the other side of the road. So when before we cross the road, it looks left, look right, look left again, or whatever. And I was automatically doing it, like I said, she was in England. Yeah. Don't know how many times I had to tell her, Linda, watch the bike, Linda, watch the bike. Whereas like in England, it's cars. In Amsterdam, it's bikes, yeah. isn't it? And two And just like in and out of yeah. each other. Yeah. It's amazing. And, yeah, and uh, we just had a wonderful time. And then we left the shop and got lots of photos. And um, there's a surprise coming in this video. And um, so, yeah. And um, we just had... And then we did add a little you know, touristy tour around all the shops uh, and whatever, um, looking for the duck shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kay, the crazy sock lady, would be in her element. The duck shops, guys, the ducks for every um, profession, mm. judges um, and... Hairdressers, chefs, nurses, doctors, footballers, footballers, oh, everything. Oh, they, and they were just amazing. Star Wars, you had Sonic, um, Hedgehog, know, Hedgehog, and but in the shape of ducks. So it was really, really good. Yoda and all stuff like that. So yeah, it was really good. And this, this holiday was for us. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, no one else, just for us. Yeah, nobody. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody said this is for you to go and do what you know what we'd planned to do, which was, at the end of the day, meet Stephen West. And we were very, very lucky. And then, um, and just so apt that it was just tulips everywhere. Yeah, because as you know, Mum's favourite flower was it was tulips, yeah. lilac tulips, and my mum could get lilac tulips any time of the year. Can't we find them at all. we can't no. we can we no no no, no. but she no, knew. And she would never tell us, would she? No, no, no. But I'll show you what I've got, Lisa. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you our souvenirs mm -hmm. and then we'll dive deep into what we bought. But we went and had a little explore 
um, round Amsterdam. Beautiful, beautiful place. Lots of um, lots of new builds going yeah. up, aren't yeah. there? Lots of alterations and yeah. that. And um, people were very friendly. Oh, lovely! And lovely. then we went back again because the Stephen and Penelope shop is like a hop, skip, and a jump to the metro where we needed to be to get back to our hotel. So we went and did a bit more shopping later on. <laughs> yep. And then the, the, the staff, obviously Stephen wasn't there, and the staff no, no. thought, oh, you're back again. And we went, yeah, we just got to, we just got to. <laughs> yeah, we just needed to come for a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we did, guys. We and, did. Uh, uh, Stephen was very kindly let me um, video his shop take a um, footage of his shop which we which will be at the end and i've taken some footage around amsterdam and our hotel which was the fletcher hotel it was a round building we were on the ninth floor yep. the restaurant was on the 18th floor the i won't even tell you about the shower no yeah. it was in the middle of the so you walked in, in into the hotel, into the room, didn't you? And as you walked into the room, the toilet was in the corner and that was round. And then right bang smack in front of you was the shower with the glass shower. I said, it's a good job with sisters. I know. <laughs> I said to her, do you want me to sit in the toilet while you have a shower? <laughs> she said, are you mad? No, sisters. sisters. So, but it was, it was an eye-opener, but... They really lovely. looked after yeah. us, didn't they? Yeah. they? They were, they were, they were lovely. They were, lovely. they were lovely. Yeah. So we bought ourselves some souvenirs. So shall we make a start, June? What we bought? Yeah. Now, tulips. Oh, tulips. We saw these, saw these bags, guys. Saw them, and we just fell in love with them. And the the tulip. So we're going to the. We got them to um put on our but one of our bags our on project our, bags on our project bags and, and we, we can just put, open them like that and they've got little notions you can put we're going to put our notions in it guys yeah. yep so when i when i open mine they did bigger handbags and everything they, they were like very expensive 200 yeah 200, 200 but they were euros. lovely i mean they are they leather. Were beautiful leather and absolutely beautiful so yep so they are gonna and they come in, came in little boxes. Little boxes. So we're gonna keep the box, aren't we, Julie? Yeah. Use the box for, for something else. Yeah. So that so, was yeah. the first thing we bought. And we bought ourselves I had to buy this. Sorry, the kissing couple. Bought one of them each. Yep. Like a, a notebook. Notebook. Which we all love our notebooks, yep. don't we guys? So that's something else we bought. I bought Rick. I, I did art in 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 um, school. In school, and um, I had to study. Uh, one of my projects was um, all about Van Gogh, and um, they had a bell for his bike with the sunflowers. And uh, so I bought him that. Didn't I? I said I bought you a new bell for your bike. <gasps> Oh, honestly, we saw this, we saw quite a few actually. There was a gentleman on a bike and in the front was kind of like, it was shaped like the front of a boat, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Like that. And children were inside it. So I said to June, I can't ride a bike. It's a good job I don't live in Amsterdam, otherwise I, you know, I wouldn't get anywhere. Um, and um, I said to June, we should get one for Rick and she looked at me and I said well I can sit in it and so can Spice, Spice and it can take us for a ride but that's that's mainly how, how they got their children to, to school. Children to school it was amazing, amazing. to see wasn't amazing. it yeah yeah so and then my love of um Van Gogh I got and um, these are like little min mini mint tic tacs so we can use them for notions oh, notions oh, too have you got yours? Sorry. And of course mine just had to be children. So I got I, actually my one of my favourite flowers is the sunflower. So we got those. Full of little minties. Yeah. 
and then we got the little house we got got these all thinking of them um, notions notion tins notion tins we love our tins guys lovely and then we're talking about the ducks so we got a duck each to put on another of our project bags we've got tulips tulips the Clocks. clog yeah mm. dutch ducky holland design yeah and the kissing and a little cow that cow it's just a cow isn't it yeah yeah it's a cow is that a cow yeah it's a cow Oh, is it? Oh, right. And a cow. <laughs> See? Oh, sorry. So we got that. And I bought. Oh, we bought a tin. Oh, yeah. A key ring as well. And oh, we bought a key ring, so this is going to go on. But another. This is full of mints. Mini mints. So we're going to put them on a, 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 on a project bag as well. Yeah. Put like bulb stitch markers in there. Yeah, they? yeah. And your little lead lines. Yeah, and then I bought. Found something for them. I bought. I bought that. It's Amsterdam bike. Just had to really, didn't you? Yeah. And you bought the rose gold one. Yeah. I got the, the rose gold on. Yeah. yeah. Just little souvenirs for us to go on our bags. Yeah. And our project bags. Definitely, definitely so. Mm -hmm. Not that we needed tins, guys, you know. And I bought this. I've got a memo board to go up in the kitchen. And just thought this was apt. A little, it's a magnet. And, yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah. Tulips. Yeah, tulips from Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, that's your fingers. Oh, that's fine. see. Yeah. Don't forget, I need to find that other bag. Yeah. So we're home today. We've emptied the paste on the washing. Um, now we've got to do this video and I've got to edit and upload it. And then we're sorting out whips and projects to take with us because we're going away tomorrow to a retreat in Eccleston. Yeah. Par Hall. Yeah, Barn. Um, with our knit and natter buddies mm -hmm. and uh, we're going Friday till Sunday yep. so yeah and then as you know I have a special little place for me mum and it's always hard to find lilac tulips so I found these how cute are they aren't they lovely so the she'll have a lilac cute a lilac tulip constantly all year round sat next to a picture yeah they are lovely they had loads didn't they yeah. stemmed ones to go in in vases but we had to be realistic and mm. decide yeah yeah uh -uh. so they're for me mum so that was like our little cookies oh and Love Kath Kitson, absolutely love. Got quite a few bags. I just couldn't resist this. This tin. But it's got hand cream in it, which every, we all need hand cream, don't we, in our lives? So, yeah, so I bought that. With the, yeah, London, Big Ben, and corgis all around. All around. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so you all know we are going to be doing the mystery knit along. And Stephen was good enough to, and you are going to, and we want, we said to him, we want to go far out, out of our comfort zone, something that we would never usually do yep colors we you know we really wanted to and especially with i mean it's go go dynamo now for me when i hear, hear that go go dynamo i i think of all eccentric colors and and um, textures and and that and um so i said to him 
I really like this and this is called melon neon it's neon guys and I blamed Sophie from <laughs> botanical yarn because I've been knitting um, neons for her and they've really but I, I saw this color guys and I thought that'll go really nice with my complexion it's um a pro pump it's the punk rock unicorn unicorn I've never had it's um 85% merino 15% nylon and obviously it's a finger weight and it is you can oh, if I squeeze it you can see the bounce it's absolutely gorgeous and then to go with it we we were just up and down is is so another new one for, for me is dark omen yarn uh, handmade in Italy and this colour is called Grim and this is superwash merino nylon and um, it's a merino sock so I've got them absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous love the colours together the dark with the, the, the neon and then my pop oh and um, you all know I, tr I, have, I, I have trouble with with the um, mohair but for some reason guys this mohair I was has not affected yeah. me at all so I thought you know what I'm gonna do it um, and this is the West Wool he raves about this it's called the glow hair 64% mohair but it's mulberry silk guys 36% mulberry silk and I don't know what the colour is on this oh the, oh yeah fandango <laughs> so I thought those are mine for the mystery, this mystery knit along and I'm so excited I can't wait so we're going to be busy next week next Thursday when you come because we're going to have to yeah, wind, it all wind all this yarn up into cakes and we've eaten well we've even got our Stephen and Penelope bags so because we spent over 150 euros we were given free bags aren't they just gorgeous so yeah so they're mine so june let us see yours so mine is um pro again punk rock unicorn mine's called mossy rock it's uh, 85 percent merino 15 percent nylon and i've gone for that one yeah. no it's okay okay so it's got all different gold greens greys i just i saw it and i thought oh that's i love that because you never worked with gray have you no and no gray is kind of out of june's yeah. comfort zone gray is a color i don't usually wear <laughs> i don't <laughs> don't usually wear gray no. mine's no. Just like blues blacks whites yeah and then like obviously i've done the blood orange um Brian. Brian 8 and I've made some green and some gold but never grey and then he helped me with this it was amazing amazing and I've got is it Mama N N Nico yarn yeah and this is called Kerry like Irish yeah Kerry and it's 75% merino and 25% polymed polyamide yeah. polyamide and it just he just like was like oh yeah there it is there there it is there there it is there it was just he helped so much yeah we, yeah we tried all did i mean it wasn't just all you know he, he tried all he got yeah. all the different yards from the different yeah. you know companies and yeah. until yeah. you know we we were happy with we were what happy. we got so my pop is called dijon Hello here as again like Linda's West Knits and mine's called Dijon. So it's got like the pop of the gold. Yeah. If you can see it. So excited. Excited. That, that, oh, you know, kind just of when you on. look at June's and look at mine, just gonna to be totally different. Yeah. And the clues come out on a Thursday. 
And I'm here on and Thursday. June and I are here together on Thursday, so we yeah. get to work them. Yeah. 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 So I've got quite looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So then we both, we knew we were going to get a sweater quantity and we told him we wanted to do this, the treasure trove. Because we've done that pattern in the Brian Ace. Yeah. Um, and it was so, it was lovely. And I had said pre in one of our other videos, I just wish he'd done a jumper and then Linda remembered he had. I, I, I you know. Yeah. So um, that is the jumper or sweater that um, Kirsty from Woolen Wishes um, knew that I was going and she asked me, you know, to, you know, what the, the he does the tandem and he's got bicycle, bicycle and yeah. tricycle as well and, tricycle, and yeah. they are beautiful beautiful yarns yeah. Kirsty. if you watch this yeah. um a very very nice very plump a, a real plumpish mm. um yarn isn't it yeah really yeah. nice and squishy as well yeah. so it's a hundred percent so we sorry it's um tandem west wool and it is 100% South American Merino wool. And it's a DK weight. And uh, 233 metres, 254 yards. And um, you've got the gauge needle size is 3.5 to 4.5, which is a US 4 or 7 to 7. And the gauge is 22 stitches to 28 rows, which equals 4 inch square um and so he even stood there and um, worked out how many yeah he got it up on his on his how phone. many skeins of each we would need and i needed my losing have i lost any more oh. so i have gone with i've gone with tandem and I just picked this yarn up and I thought, I've not got a sweater with this colour. And this colour is called Tandem Norway. And it as you can see, it's and it's quite it's very, very soft. Very soft to the touch. Um not not prickly at all with no. it being a wool, with it being a hundred percent, you know, you can get that wool that it can have a have a bit of a um a rough Roughness. texture yeah. yeah but this is so soft so this is my main color and then the three colors that i've gone with are because he suggested to only do three colors didn't yeah because he? he was saying um so i've got the same specs so this is glass this is my palest then i've got aquamarine and then the darker one is brackish and that's the main so they're the colors and if you bring them closer you can see really a, a, a really good yeah. plump a yeah plumpish, it is lovely um a very very soft very soft i'm absolutely over the moon um again i didn't know what color no. to go for and i i spotted this and i thought oh, i really like that you know when a color just pops out and you've just got to have that colour mm. and that's what okay. we did that's what I get, did so they're my colours for the treasure trove which June and I are going to be doing and I got I got two, I got two bags my first trip yeah I got two as well so my tandem again because I'd, when we were watching Stephen's um, videos of all the different yarns um for the mystery knit along and oh, i've got another one yep um, i did say to linda that i did quite like the tandem yarn it did look yeah it did look lovely so he helped me and i've gone for tandem as well but mine is called tandem tiger so it's called tiger same specs as Linda's. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my main colour. So we went on and he worked out how many I needed for my size. Because I know what size I, I'm making Stephen yeah. West. I don't like them to be too tight. I like them to be just 
you know, where you've got the room and that, mm -hmm. because of being a voluptuous lady. Fluffy lady. She's fluffy a fluffy lady. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy lady. She's a fluffy lady. So then he helped me then. So he, you know, it was amazing. He was just like taking yarn off and he was putting it next to him. To it and then he was, no, 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 no. And then he'd go back and, and choose another. So he chose cardamom. Um, do, do, do. Starfish. Oh, that's nice. Starfish. Sorry. And oh, sherbet. So they're my, they're my colours. And what you were saying, you could kind of go one, two, three. So they could be. So that would be the neck, obviously, and then that could be one, two, three, and then you could go three, two, one. Or go one, two, three, one. Two, one, two. No, one, two. You know, so you could yeah. go one, two, three, three, two, one. Yeah. Backwards. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could go, which I will do, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'd go like that. Yeah. 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 But, Very lovely together. Lovely really nice and it's oh it's lovely it is it, it, you just you can't even ex describe how how soft it is mm -hmm. it's and for, for it being 100 percent wool yeah um it is lovely lovely and i think that will wash really nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah and uh, his shop was kind of you you go in and you go down the steps so you've got one layer then you go down into the actual shop that's another layer and then behind there's another layer so yeah. it was all just yeah sock yarn from so many different and everything varieties. he'd knitted all the different yeah. things he'd knitted were all on show yeah the, the actual the actual um treasure trove that was actually on a hanger, yeah, wasn't it? Because yeah. I was when we went the second time. Linda was talking to one of the uh, assistants was helping yeah. you, wasn't she? Yeah, she's helping. And I was talking to the one of the young gentlemen there, and he, he was asking me, you know, what I was knitting. What did Stephen help me with? Choose, and I was saying like the jumper, which one? And I couldn't remember what it was called, and I just I saw it on the hanger. I went, oh, it's this one, and he said, oh yeah, he liked that one. And it was the actual pattern. Mm -hmm. It was the actual jumper that he'd knitted yeah, yeah. that he's got on in the um, in, in the shop. Uh, yeah, in the pattern in the yeah. But like, quite a few of his shawls were on show, so you could uh, actually see what they looked yeah. like. All his mini scarves were on show. Socks. Yeah. Um, the hats. Uh, yeah, you know the sock along that that we've just finished. The, there was a, a wrap that um he'd made to go with it to, the show. yeah it was lovely wasn't yeah, it yeah it was beautiful was because i said to him oh i i did the sock along he said what did you think and i said oh i said you blew my mind i said you know your, your ideas were just I kind of once i'd done the the main leg i kind of had an idea on what you want to do but you just threw it out the ballpark when you did the front part and then you underneath you you join the for the soul i said it was just amazing i said where you come up with your ideas i said uh, uh, uh um just amazing aren't they mm. i mean he's such a talented and he's so um down to where i suppose what we're looking for isn't yeah, it yeah he was you know kind of he made us feel so comfortable so welcoming and yeah. and um we just had a ball with him yeah. we did and you know i said you know can we can we have photographs he said oh of course and he called his staff uh can you you know one of the ladies can you come and just take a photograph of us please and we all took them he took one on his phone and you know we took some on our phone and then oh we'll have to take one outside girls when you go and i said so okay. he, he did the selfie because he's yeah he's because he's taller than us down to our he could, level. yeah he did he he, he kind of stooped yeah. down to our level which was just amazing and yeah you know and we, we got, got a photo by the bike as well yeah we got our photos with the bicycle and uh, he was just he was lovely, lovely. Oh, he was. He, uh, and he yeah. made us feel 
he made us feel at ease and comfortable in his presence. I mean, we were just starstruck, guys, you know. I mean, he's a, when, when I introduced him to June, June just fell in love with him. And then she, she was watching one of his videos and she phoned me and said, did you know he's got a shop in Amsterdam? I said, yeah. Oh, we're going. We're going. I went, right, okay. Speak you. later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Fine, okay, we're going. I said, Rick, looks like we're going to Amsterdam. What for? I said, Stephen West. And obviously Rick knows about Stephen West because mm. obviously I've, I've done two of his shawls and the make, you know, two previous make-alongs and that. So he knows who he is. And um, he said, oh, I'm dreading the pair of you. But we were really good girls, weren't we? Yes, we were very good girls. Yeah. And he was chuffed to bits with his bag. We oh, could not yeah. not go yeah. and take him, especially after him losing yeah. Stitch. We explained like how it come about and everything, yeah. didn't we? And yeah. he was like... He was chuffed. Oh, he said, new bag, new project. Ooh. Yeah. I have to go and cast yeah. something else on now. Yeah. So a new project. And he was made up that Stitch was... It was it was so fame because when he owned it he said oh i can see french bulldogs mm -hmm. and then when he opened it he was like oh my god it's lovely yeah and he's got one that there were three different colored one was stitch one was brioche and then friend levi who was the color of the second of the the third bulldog so yeah. he said um yeah and we talked a little bit about stitch and yeah. whatever and um yeah and we just stood and talked about our dogs and um life in general yeah yeah, we? yeah yeah it was it was good it was it, lovely it, it was really, really was. nice really really nice and then he let me um he let me um video video the shop you know the shop and he was stand talking to june and he what did he do now to say he said he said to me she's very pr professional and i said oh yeah she does all the admin and i just make all the bags and he was looking at the bag and he said it's it's very well made i said thank you very much so of course we had to go back after we did oh our trade. Yeah. Do you want to show what? Oh we... yeah, yeah. Before we get into the final, so my, so I'm not going to go into detail, but my middle son has, yeah, just achieved a, a seven year. Yeah, yeah. Made me so proud. Don't get emotional. So we went to the the rubber duck. store because he loves ninja turtles yeah teenage ninja turtles and i thought i never got him anything so i thought sneak for his seven years and he'd been talking to us about them didn't he yeah so i bought him a little ninja turtle duck if you can see it it's raphael it's red he's got red on which craig's a liverpool supporter like his auntie linda yeah <laughs> so i facetimed him yesterday didn't realise that like we were an hour ahead and he was still in work so he just texted me I'm in work and then he phoned me back so I said I'll FaceTime you so I said to him I I know like this holiday was just for me to do whatever but so proud of you I said and I bought you a little present oh what did you do that for ma I didn't you did blah 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 I said if I show you show you something you'll know what I've done so I showed him the bag and he went, oh, no, and I went, yeah, but I could only get you one, I said, and I got you that one. Oh, he was chuffed, wasn't he? Yeah, he was chuffed. So that's, that's, yeah, so he, he loves Ninja Turtles, he's got little ones on his, um, dashboard, on his dashboard, on, in his car, but they had big ones, they had like, they were like that big, 50, 50, 50 euros, euros each. And as everyone knows, there's four Ninja Turtles. Oh, that would have been weak men. Yeah, no. yeah. So I told him, and he said, oh, no, Mum, I didn't want the big one. So I said, well, I bought you it. He said, you shouldn't have. I said, no, I bought you it because it's your seven year, and you'll remember that. So, yeah, so that's, that's going home to him. So I'll give him that next week. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, Duck Store. Amazing. So then... We had to go back because we had some money being in a hole in our pocket, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. 
as yeah. you do. Well, we saved up. We saved up for this from the from like once we booked it, didn't we? Yeah. We've been saving up every month. Every time I got paid, I was given a lend of money. Mm -hmm. So we saved up for it. Yeah. So yeah, we knew what mm -hmm. our budget was and everything, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We did, and we thought, Do you know what? It's once in a lifetime. Someone went a bit overboard. I went overboard as you do, as you do, as you do. So I bought myself Team West. Knits. Knits. Badge, pin badge, which will go on my wall hanging over there. And, and I got... I got brioche. Brioche it up, pup, mine says. Because I love dogs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love dogs. And then we had to... We had to... So when we were there the first time and we were like just having a little pot around mm -hmm. we know sister does all different stitch markers and yeah. um, light bulbs and everything and we i noticed these so when we were having um, a drink i just said to linda did you know we had bicycle stitch markers she was like no where are they i said oh you were busy looking at the yarn i was busy looking at the knickknacks so yeah, so we bought them, a box each. And there's ten. Is there? Yeah, there's ten. And they're, they're lovely. And the bicycles. We could not not get them, guys. What yeah. do you think? Are they cute? Not at all. Absolutely adorable. So yeah, we bought them. Yeah. Very never mind. When we pay when we went to the till to pay, she said, I I are, are you you know have you got an account with us and i said yes you know we met you know because i've ordered from um stephen online before so anyway she said would you like your your, your, your would you like your receipt emailing to you and i said oh yeah i think you better add <laughs> yes please so yeah so we got that so then for me to get another third bag, I've got a plan. Got a plan for them. So Alpine Bloom, you know I love Caitlin Hunter. The Alpine Bloom, and do you know what, guys? I love purple. My favourite colour, and I've never ever made myself anything in purple. So I got oh, this is come undone. Oh no, I'll have to sort that out anyway. I have got this is ultra singles 366 meters, 400 yards, 100 grams. Uh, life in the long grass that's the company, 100% super superwash merino and um, yeah so i got this color which is ultra and to do the color work i got amethyst same so the what i've got four but look at all the colors on there look lovely i'll just take it down a bit so you can see it's all different colors turquoise and greens and browns and purples and blues. lilacs and blues and and that really really lovely colors so yeah i just had to i just had to had to because amethyst was my mum's birthstone birthstone yeah so i had to i just had to get it and i've never made myself anything in purple before so i thought why not so i've got the pattern and i've got the bag so yeah so that's that one are you gonna oh and then we we both we both bought some of the tricycle west wool i think the only one we didn't get was bicycle so we've got yeah. the tandem bicycle and tricycle so we didn't get no bicycle and this is a hundred percent superwash merino wool now this is new isn't it yeah and he's gonna aim this more for baby yeah baby wear baby wear so this is called tricycle sherbet 
and it is 200 meters 218 yards and we bought this for a reason yeah we can't say but we, we can't bought say it but for a reason yeah so I, I, june got two and i got two yeah so we've got that and it's and uh, it is lovely uh, uh, you would definitely put this on a baby yeah definitely yeah definitely and would not hesitate to put this yarn yeah, on a baby you know kst the the tricycle the bicycle and the tandem are all beautiful yeah. yarn we yeah. may not have bought any bicycle but it is a lovely I'm quite surprised lovely. you didn't aren't you yeah i know yeah we'll be out in a minute rig right it's dinner time here in the yes, uk for us i haven't got a clue what would happen no no so yeah so we bought them mm -hmm. so so soft yeah. so soft yeah yeah so yeah so he, he did say that they are going to be aiming this more to babies mm -hmm. to little people yeah to little people and last but not least i saw for me anyway the melting marl kerchief and you made this all with the glow but i saw this yarn and i really wanted to use this it's undercover otter yarn and fibers from amsterdam and this is called squirm oh it's a squirm sock um 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, uh, 400 meters, 437 yards. And I bought these two. And what, what he's done that is he's kind of, um, he'd used all different, as you can see, all different colors um, by changing the mohair so this is going to go straight through this is, i'm using this but when he says to change to change can you hold that for me please when he says to change the colors i have bought i bought them they're the um glow glow here so they're going to go like that so i've got the playlist and this is a lace weight and that's aquamarine. Aqu aquamarine. Aquamarine. My teeth are fell out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is brackish. Then I've got North Sea and then Norway. Oh, that's the same as colour as me sweater. They, they say, they're the same colours as me sweater. Mm. Them three. Yeah. So anyway, so I, I'm going to make this with this so when he um in the pattern when he says change you know to get the stripes i will not change the yarn this yarn because this will go straight through i'll just change the color of this all the way through so they're the they're the way so that we've got light medium to dark yeah so and then i just thought it would be something different you know something i oh, you know me guys i always like to put this purples in it and i think it'll look really nice with all these greens in it i'm considering i'm not a green person <laughs> i've done well with the the green so yeah so what have you bought what's your last picture so you? mine way when we were in there earlier i saw this um organic cotton it's called onion knit so i've bought Sand. So there's sand. So I've got two sand. Yeah. I've got two marine. Yeah. The um 100% organic cotton. Um, 50 grams, 155 meters. So and this one's uh, what's this one? This is navy. No, that's marine. Oh, marine and orange. They look lovely. Yeah. So, like. I'm going to do so as you know I've done a blood orange sweater sweater I've done a blue lyra yeah and I've done a gold 
that would go with the gold or the greens, mm -hmm. Lyra and higher tea. Mm -hmm. Dustland, the Dustland, and the rib, fair rib. They're the two I'm going to make between them three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to use them for them. So, yeah. So, that was our adventure in Amsterdam. Yes. We had a ball, didn't we? We did. We laughed and giggled and it was it was yeah. fun. It was total fun. So what um at the end of the, when we say bye bye, um there is going to be footage from Stephen and Penelope's shop and um there might be a cameo feature of Stephen. And then um, at the very end, there'll just be a little bit of footage um, about while we were in Amsterdam. And then we'll have photographs at the end. I've taken a photograph of the yarn where we sucked the life out of it Yeah, to bring it home. Literally. So we, well, June did. June's very good at that. So we've literally, that's what we've done. So, um, yeah. So we want to say... I'm very good at sucking the life out of the yarn. <laughs> yeah. She did it for us in Turkey as well. So, yeah, so on our cases, we weren't over this time. No. We were well under. Yeah, we yeah. could have bought more, couldn't have we? We could have, couldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, just want to say thank you so much for watching us and watching us this far. I hope you stay and watch the end of it because um, there's a little cameo appearance from our Stephen. Yep. And then a little bit of footage about where we were in Amsterdam mm -hmm. and a photograph of the Fletcher Hotel, which is actually a circular building, which was amazing. Yeah, it was. And was. Um, yeah, so thank you also very much for watching us, watching, sharing the likes and um, giving the thumbs up and that and welcome to all our new subscribers because we've had quite a few new subscribers yep. this yep. this past month mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we'll get back to regular videos after this week because yep. it's just been Bedroom. mad mad yeah, mad. Been mad 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 yeah so yeah so hopefully the next time we'll speak to you will be where we show our bags bags Oh yeah, it's bags. Bags, the next one. Bags is the next one. Some of our new bags, mm -hmm. what we've made. And yep. then the one after that, it'll be all finished projects for September. September. Can you need re And then it'll be works in progress then. Yep. How are we getting on with the make along? Make along. And our sweater, because we're going to be doing the sweaters together, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we've got quite a busy, busy time coming up. Yeah, it's my birthday next week on and Tuesday. Shows on Tuesday, and we've got obviously we've got shows September, October, October November, November, and December. December. So we're going to be really busy getting that sorted as well. Yep. So um, thank you all so much for watching us. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, but more importantly, guys, be kind to, you. to you. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm here in Stephen and Penelope's. I'll take you out to the front, but I just want to show you all the gorgeous yarn. So we've got L T L G lovely shawls, and we've got walk, and then we've got the lovely colours of the. Ying, is it Ying fibre? Ching fibre. Ching. Ching fibre. Ching fibre. <laughs> I should have known that. And look who's here to hello. say hello. Oh, hello everyone. I'm having a fun time with Linda in June. And I got this cute little Frenchie project bag. I think that means I need to start a new project today. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have a new yep. project, a isn't it? Brioche and stitch and spice. Your dog spice is on there yeah, too. Yeah, spice is there it's with so brioche. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Yes. So you have. Stephen has kindly helped us pick our yarn for the mystery knit along and also the bubble jumper is it? Treasure trove. Treasure trove, I beg your pardon, treasure trove. So look at all the beautiful yarns. 
I uh, will share with you the colours that both June and I have gone for. And um, absolutely, honest to God, guys, <laughs> I could live here. It's just wonderful. Yeah, and there's some of the other, other hats and Stephen West. And yeah, and this is the wall for the Go Go Dynamo. And yes, guys, June and I have got a mohair pop. <laughs> and um, so this is the yarn. I know one of my friends has asked about bicycle and tandem. And honest, Kirsty, this is for you. Tandem is gorgeous, as well as the bicycle. Really fluff, really um, plump yarn. And these are all the colours. No, no. So we've used this yarn for our sweaters. We'll show you when we get home. This is more yarn, different weights of yarns. There's the Briornate. Sure. Look at all them colours. Beautiful. And then the Holst garn. Isn't that beautiful? That's nice yarn. We just spoke for choice, guys. Absolutely spoke for choice. So, yeah. There we go. Very kind of Stephen to come and meet us. Honest to goodness, what a what a privilege, guys, what a privilege. So that's it for now. We will see you on the other side. Here we are in Bears Madame Tussauds Museum. And another impressive building. The architecture here in um, Amsterdam. Say hello, June. Hi, everyone. Texture is absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely, I've never seen so many bicycles in my life. Good job I don't live in Amsterdam. It's not cars we're watching for, it's bikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.